Gary from Cancer Apostle. Do you have tests? Yes, sir. What's your name, child? My name is Vilma. Where do you live? I live here in Ribeirão Preto. Ribeirão Preto. Why has Jesus done your life? Jesus cured me of a cancer that I had a nose and arthrosis and knee, cholesterol, back. I had a black ribbon remedies. Oh, God. And I worked as a housekeeper. I ate rice and onion, and today I have everything. Uh, I had to eat this too. <laughs> and something. Of course, that you have rice is a really good thing. Yeah. Did you start to change? Change is Bishop. I live in a very small house, and today I have my house <laughs> and my car, my company. Really? Today I employ people who are unemployed at Bishop. God bless. Thank God. Look. I have beautiful eyes, I can see. I had cancer in my nose. You had cancer? Two here. Really? And another one, and the doctor said I would operate the other one. Cancer. What if they challenge and say that well, when there's a channel then how come a single person gets so many miracles? Don't say next to me because I say it is none of your business uh, here. my. Even if it's the fox, come here. Yeah, for him, I want a hug of yours. Oh, praise the Lord. Thanks, God. How wonderful. Don't know her. She's my mom. Well, but you suffer a lot. I tried to commit a suicide. I had a deception. I was disappointed. I had a relationship eight years ago, and I was so disappointed. And I lost my job. I lost my house. I lost everything because of this person. And to me, there was no reason to leave. And I tried to commit suicide. I had poison. I spent five days. What? She had rat poison. Her? I went to the doctor and I said, if there is a God in the bishop life, and this God will come in here and my daughter will live. And very soon my daughter came alive again and the doctor said so many people the doctor said so many people that had this poison never came back but she came back and here's the proof in my my daughter-in-law did you see it i saw it and i participated with everything we got on our knees in the hospital we shouted for your god for to bless because i has already done a miracle in my brother's life the doctor gave four hours of life. He was in intensive treatment. And the bishop of our worldwide church, of God's power, and said to my mom, if you believe in God, she said, yeah, today you're going to have good news about him. And we had... We got her miracle and then started talking about her own miracle. Look at her smile. Did you want to die? No. You wanted to. That day, yeah, because I didn't have my job anymore. Today I want to leave. I'm married. Thanks, God. How about now? The opposite. I want to leave and have several children. And my mom, I remember that she shouted, My God! The God that the Bishop of Otomir will bring my daughter back and a breath like this. And I spent five days in the intensive church. Stop it, did you see it? Yes, you did. God's power stops everything. She's alive, look. How much is this family's happiness worth? Is there a price? No. The secret is... To dwell in God's hiding. That's it. To trust him. This family was on the bottom of the pit. Woeful. But look at that. The joy you feel when a family that was on the edge at the end. Uh. I lost everything in that moment. My job in the multinational company, everything. Everything was gone. Everything. I came back to my parents' house only with my clothes. 
And she spent all what she did. She looked after me. She's been through all that. She suffered. And after my regret to make my family suffer, this is the worst. No, but it's not you. You're not to blame. You're not to blame. Not now. No, that's... Now, God is in your life, so... Best is best. Right. Apostle, today, they say in the Bible, the blessing of the second house is much bigger. Yeah, the glory of the second house. Now in the second house is much bigger. Is this church important for you? Very, very much. And God gave me a house, another house, new one, the way I want it. And everybody asked me, who was the architect here? And I said, God, it was God. Architect. And they asked us, how were you able to construct this house? And I said, it was God. Yeah, but when they get that low, don't offend them, you know. Ask God to rebuke all oh, spirit of envy. That's called envy, jinx. When they start admiring too much your house and oh, that's so beautiful. Ask God to rebuke it, rebuke the spirit of envy. That's true, it's true. Right? So, you know, your life surprised you. What? What do you say? For someone who starved the house it now. Today I buy cattle in her farm. Look at the freezer full of meat. I buy the animal, the big animal. What? What? Not parts. Do you buy meat from her? I buy the cow from her farm. You go to her farm and buy? Yeah. But young oaks, young oaks, right? You don't sell her old oaks, and right? No. Yes, young oaks, and right? Ah, so she buys meat directly from her farm. Okay, never mind. No, no. Ah, uh, what? Amen. Is this ministry important? This ministry is very important. Nobody talks about bad things about it because I have a testimony, a life of testimony. There is no way of no <sighs> talking near me. Enough, enough, enough. Wait a minute. It's good to find out that you have heard because when I go there, we'll have some barbecue, okay? Yeah, of course. Is that right? Yeah, to kill the whole animal. Kill a whole ox. You can kill a piece of ox. What? Yeah, my daughter. No, it can't be her. Yeah, thanks God. Show it. Oh boy. What's her condition? Anorexia. Wow, she was skinny bones. Yeah. I mean, that living skeleton is this beautiful girl. Yeah, she couldn't walk anymore. Couldn't walk? No. How was she cured from that? Was it hard? Yeah, no doctors would like to put her in the hospital because it's a psycho problem and here in, in Hibeno, I begged them to put her in the hospital. They said she would receive a lot of medication and it would... Look, her arm. Oh, God. These are some pictures. Split the screen with her now. Come for her, please. Look. So, she was that skeleton. Thanks, God. Not the opposite. Okay, don't get mad at me, please. Okay? Well, you are pretty down. Are you cured? I am. Jesus cured you. Where do you live? Taquaratinga. No, I don't have to do. Don't mess this kind of stuff. It's usually a spiritual thing. Do just like that lady. She goes to her friend's farm and buys a whole ox. <laughs> and she makes some barbecue. So come here. It's impressive. A lot of people suffer of this. I've never heard of this disease hitting a man. It usually hits a lot of women. Uh, especially models. This kind of stuff. It used to be worse before, right? 
What? Determine the cure of her tyroid. Wow. Wow, I'm going to determine. When I got here, she looked from that side. And I look at her and I determine as her, you see. In the right, in the right. Yeah. Uh, are you happy? So happy, so happy. I passed to this ministry from the moment that I received it to the little town. It's been two years and she stayed in that situation. I received the little towel. I didn't believe it was music, but I put in her pillow with a lot of prey and uh, struggle a lot. And the moment that she realized she would die, she made a pact with God. And if said, if I survive until tomorrow, I will start eating. And I delivered myself at, at the bottom of her bed and I said, I can't do anything else, God. And through our prayer, everything I received, I, I did. And the other day, she started to walk, oh, eat, and we seek for everything. She wasn't she was supposed to walk anymore. No, she didn't. It was really that enemy. The doctor said that she would die with a cardiac arrest. And also enemy. Split the screen. Split the screen. Impressive. So, models who watch us, if you do it, there are several people dying out of this. Let's continue now. Ah, gonna give her a gift. Ah, ah it's here. Here's the gift. Ah, that one's nice. Yeah, this. That's Juliana. No, no, Juliana. Hey, I know you. <clears throat> but so, what's the matter? Oh, you're blessed. Go home. 